Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode of The Fad Show. Uh, this week I'm going to show you how affordable and how easy it is to do a DIY oil change at home on your 987 uh, Porsche Cayman or Boxster. So with that, I just wanted to go over a quick uh, rundown of what you're going to need to be able to do this job and also a cost to just show you how affordable this actually is. So supplies that you're going to need to purchase for this, uh, you're gonna need seven quarts of zero weight uh, 40 um, oil. I use the Mobile One uh, European car formula because that's what Porsche uh, recommends. So that at the time of per uh, this video was, um, came out to be for seven quarts, uh, $40 and 59 cents. It was 28.99 for that five quart jug which if you get two of those you'll have a little uh extra leftover that you use next time you do your oil change you also need an oil filter cartridge which i just got off of amazon for 9.99 i like to use the man uh filter cartridges i've used them for a lot of my uh old german cars and had good uh experience or good results with them you also need a crush gasket for the oil drain plug uh, which you can order off of Amazon. They're kind of actually expensive for what they are. They're like, they charge you like five bucks on Amazon for just the little crush gasket. I go to my local Porsche dealership, ask for one, and they usually give it to you for free. Uh, so that I have in there for zero dollars for a total cost of $50.58 uh, for your DIY oil change at home, which is, I imagine, a lot cheaper than going to the Porsche dealership. So other tools you're gonna need, uh, obviously this car is pretty low, so you're not gonna be able to get under there. Uh, without any jacks or jack stands. You're also gonna need an eight millimeter hex uh, socket um, to, uh, for the oil drain plug. You're gonna need an oil filter wrench uh, to get the housing off, uh, or you could just use a strap wrench or, uh, yeah, whatever works for you to get that filter housing off. And you're gonna need a breaker bar and torque wrench for tightening the drain plug down. And then also if you have the proper uh, oil filter housing, uh, you can use the torque wrench for that. And then that brings me to the torque specs. So the drain plug is 37 uh, foot pounds and the filter housing is 19 foot pounds, which is pretty much just hand tight. So with that, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna get started by jacking the car up. There's a cross brace on the transmission back here that I like to use as my jacking point to get the whole rear of the car up. And then you can uh, put the floor jack or the jack stands on the side of the car. And I'll do the same thing for the other side and it's important to uh, chalk your front wheels when you do this because there's nothing to stop the car from rolling forward. All right, since the car's mid-engine, it's quite a uh, far ways you have to crawl in here to get to the drain plug. But the next step is just to release the drain plug and let the oil drain out. All right, well, this continues to drip. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the oil filter housing off. I uh, usually try and do them by hand first, and if I can't do it, then I'll use the wrench. And for me, I don't have the actual proper size. I just have the oil filter wrench, so I like to use a microfiber rag to keep it from damaging the housing.
once the housing is done draining, uh, you can just put it aside on a piece of cardboard or paper towel, and then you're gonna have to pull your filter out. I usually like to stick that in the in the box that the new one came in. everything to go back in uh, so with that I'm going to take my old drain plug crush the gasket off and put on the new one and with everything I like to just make sure there's a fresh seal of oil on it and then for the filter housing there's a little O there's an O-ring on here that you have to get off, so I just use needle nose pliers to grab this and pull it off like that. And then the new one I just work on by hand. Now my gloves already have oil all over them, but I just like to make sure this is clean and it has a fresh film with oil on it, so just get a little bit of oil on your glove there and just make sure that's nice and lubricated so it will seal up good and it won't pinch when you put it back in. And then the filter, you could put it in the housing, but I find uh, it doesn't go on all that way if you have to like shove it up onto a little nozzle, the drain down nozzle up in there. Um, so that's how you install that. And we'll do that here in a minute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug in next. Seems that that's still uh, draining down. Uh, with that, I'm gonna need my torque wrench and then just make sure you set it to 39 uh, foot pounds when you go to tighten down your drain plug. cartridge on and the new oil filter housing back on. I like to just shove it on the nozzle there. I find that works best than trying to put it in the cartridge and then moving the cartridge, screwing the cartridge in. I really just like to do my filter cartridges uh, hand tight, as tight as I can get them with just my hands in the rag, because that's plenty tight and close enough to 19 foot pounds. All right, everything is buttoned up down here. Now we can set the car back down and add the oil. All right, I'm here in the rear hatch of the car. This is actually where the oil filler is. It's in this little secret compartment here. 
and I always put the blanket in here uh, in case I spill any. Uh, so I think the car calls for uh, like seven and a half quarts with a filter change, uh, but my past experience has been that's a little bit too much. Uh, so I'm gonna start with six quarts and then I'll adjust from there. I'm gonna go ahead and check the oil and then I'll run it and check back in another half an hour. Yeah, so according to this, we're right on the, the bottom end, so I'll go ahead and put a little bit more in it before I start it. Okay, I went ahead and put probably another half a quart in. See where that gets us. All right, so we're pretty much uh, smack dab in the middle of the band. So kind of go ahead and start it, and then I'll check back in 30 minutes. All right, so 30 minutes has elapsed. Let's go ahead and check the oil one more time. I did add a little bit more while we were waiting because I think it was pretty close um, to need a little bit more, so. All right, absolutely perfect. So that's it. All right, so there you have it, guys. All it took was an hour out of your life and $50 and you changed the oil in your 987 Porsche Cayman. So I think you owe yourself one Coors Latte. Thank you guys for watching the Fad Show this week. I hope you found this video uh, helpful and I hope you uh, get the courage to do a basic maintenance item like this and save yourself some cash. All right, hope you guys have a good one.